Hey students, it's Mrs. Nelson. I'm going to be teaching you a game called Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe. So we know how to play tic-tac-toe. We take turns marking X's and O's until one of us can get three in a row. That's basic tic-tac-toe. We're going to be playing, like I said, Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe. So this involves more tic-tac-toe boards. So your first step is you're going to draw a typical tic-tac-toe board. And then in each of those tic-tac-toe sections, you're going to draw another tic-tac-toe board. And now you can see I have three rows of three columns of tic-tac-toe boards. Like before, we're still going to take turns marking X's and O's, but depending on where the last player marked their X or their O, that dictates where the next player, what board the next player must use. So X loves the center square because that increases their chances of winning. So because X went in the center, of that tic-tac-toe board, then the next player, O, must play in the center board. So notice in relation to all the tic-tac-toe boards, this is the center board. Notice that the O played in that first column in the second row. That means X has to play in the tic-tac-toe board that's in the first column and second row. So X is going to take the center again. Well, because X played in the center of that board, it pushes O back to that center board, and O is going to play in that lower left-hand corner. Because O played in the lower left-hand corner of that board, then X gets pushed to the game board that's in the lower left-hand corner. X is going to again take that center square, and that pushes O back to the center board. Well, O can get three in a row. Now, this game board is one by O. And so then, since the game board is one, then X gets to go wherever they want to. So then X might choose to go uh, on that first column and second row, which then pushes O to the game board that's in the first column and second row. So then O might go here. So then that means X needs to go on the third column, second row, and play their next spot. Well, X again wants that center spot. So then that would typically push O back to the center board, but that board has been won. So now O can go wherever O wants to go. So O is going to go back to this board to get two in a row, which means X has to go over here. And again, X is just so stuck on that center board, so now O gets to go wherever they want to. O just won this board. Come on, X, step up your strategy. So now X is going to go somewhere else. This is the middle column and the bottom row, so O is going to go here, and then that means X has to go, uh-oh, that game board's won. X can go wherever they want to. So now X has just won this game board. And so you're going to keep going until you have three in a row. So right now we don't have a winner. Three in a row for the larger game board. So that's how you'll play. Again, if X were to to go here on their turn, that would push O to the board that's in the same location, in the top right-hand corner, and then O can go in any spot. And since O went in the top left-hand corner, X has to play on the game board that's in the top left-hand corner. This game's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it.